Good morning and happy new years, uh, YouTube. We're gonna do an update to my Unify system with the supply of the internet from Verizon Fios. Uh, it's a gigabit internet. And from this update to the previous video, which will be linked somewhere here in the top, uh, the previous video had a bunch of videos that I had combined. There were three different videos. And the problem I had was my software deleted all the audio. I don't know why it did that, but it did it. Um, so, is what it is. I want to do an update to where I am right now. Um, it looks like a rat's nest, but it's really not. Um, I've got to make a couple of these cables a little bit shorter, but we're going to do that here um, in the next couple days. So, we've got the Unify um, three-port security gateway. This is the version two of the cloud key. And then this is a 60 watt Unify switch uh, with ports five through eight, which are PoE ports. On the left side was the recent update um, or installation addition. It's a six, um, uh, excuse me, it's a 12 port CAT6 uh, punch down. <clears throat> what I'm using here is on the bottom, I ran from my ONT to the back of port one, which is my Fios. So that runs directly to the ONT. Ports two and three are running to my office. And port three, uh, excuse me, port four, which is, says B3 for basement three, is on the other side of the wall here for a TV, a set top box, and have you see ports five and six, which are B4 and B5 run up and over and on the other side of the wall right here because sometimes I do move my equipment and the kids TV to this wall so I do have two hardwire cat sixes over here um, and let's see seven through nine are empty right now even though they do say um, B6 B7 B8 um, I do have some drops down here that I can terminate if I want to but there's nothing plugged into them I will be moving my uh, access point AC light, which is on the other side of the wall right here. Um, I'm going to move that one to another location. Then I'll terminate behind there so that I can use the front of the patch panel. But the AP, um, which is the in-wall AC upstairs, that one is terminated to the back. And I'm using that just to plug um, right into the PoE port right there. So that's what we have there. Um, back on this side, there's just a couple things connected. Really, it's just these two devices because I don't have two extra ports on here. Um, I always keep another unmanaged switch. Um, in this case, this is a managed uh, GS108E. Uh, I think it's the version 2. So it's networked, um, net managed, um, or you can use a console to get into it. But that's running um, your uplink to unify and then uh, the last two ports are just running on these because these guys are both only 10 100 meg um, speed devices sonos boost we don't need it anymore however i still use it because it just makes my sonos system a little bit easier i don't have to fight with wi-fi or anything like that it makes a mesh network and then the action tech ecb 2500c which i'm using instead of my fios um modem or the fios gateway to inject media over coax so ethernet over coax for my set top boxes so it's only 10 100 but that's all it needs because the data that your set top boxes pull even netflix and hulu and whatever else you're running on you don't need over 100 megs so this thing works perfect um so I'm using that as my media injector. So I could take out all of my Verizon equipment minus the set top boxes. And this is what we have. Um, so over here on this side, again, we're going to tighten up some of these cords, make them a little bit shorter. Um, I do have a couple loops, some uh, in the cables because they're just a little bit too long. Um, trying to make it a little bit cleaner in here, but however, it is just a closet in the basement. So. All right, so back here in the office, I've got a little cabinet here. 
old cabinet. It's actually falling apart, but put my NAS back here, put my uh, GS205, which is a five port unmanaged switch. Um, so on here, we've got the NAS, uh, the switch. I've also got a Linux uh, Ubuntu box down here running iPerf and the hard drive is running a uh, uh, my my video library perplex so and then we got the computer over here um, Xbox is also run there so you've got the NAS Xbox the Ubuntu and the desktop so that's one two three four that makes all five ports on that um, with the way I redid the cabinet I, I may very well decide to move this guy back over there. Um, and I don't need to run iPerf all the time. And this little AMD box down here, it's only a 25 watt um, AM1. I built this really cheap off Micro Center just for a toy to play with. Um, this guy really doesn't need to be running at all. I just want to put something with iperf on it just to test some network speeds and i still get over a gigabit um within my internal network i got all cat six everywhere there might be a cat 5e cable up here somewhere i think just run into uh to the xbox but yeah there's just a whole bunch of trash in here i gotta really clean it up since we moved back home um but that's what we got uh, i'm gonna get here on the computer and I'm gonna update the video. Let's see if it started. Yeah, so this video, I use GoPro Studio, but <clears throat> this video here lost all my audio. So I'm gonna do some voiceover and get this one back up, probably shorten it. And that should be, um, I don't even know what update that one was. I'll link that in the description, and then I'll have, uh, I mean, I don't even know if I even need to go through half of this stuff, because we were talking about speed tests a little while ago. What else were we talking about? Oh, I replaced the mono price switch, um, which was an unmanaged switch. I couldn't find the packet sizes on this, so that's one reason why I had wanted to remove this and put the Netgear switch in there. Um... I didn't know if this was going to be a bottleneck or whatnot, but uh, oh yeah, we did update. Uh, we moved because the cloud key was up here. I put a little piece of Velcro to put the cloud key down here just to keep all these in the line. What else did we change out on here? I might not even redo this video and waste time on it. Yeah, that's what it looked like before. Cloud key was up there. We moved the cloud key down here. That stayed the same. The Mocha injector was on top. Western Digital NAS was over there. Uh, so we moved Mocha injector down here where the mono price eight port unmanaged switch was. And then we put our Netgear managed, net managed smart switch up here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, you could see that was, uh, that's the office right there. And yeah, what other things do I have on here? Oh um, yeah, so we were we were talking about my network speed. So yes, I have gigabit internet, and Verizon never promises to give you gigabit speed. So if you use their network test, which is on their Verizon website. It will ping from their server to your ONT and give you that speed. And yes, that speed will say 900 plus megs up and down. Um, however, when it flips to the second page, the second page will go from modem, which is ONT, the optical network terminal, to your device. So that could be your phone, it could be a tablet, it could be your, um, your desktop. And then that will show slower speeds. So without running um, any kind of firewall, uh, put everything down to minimal, not running deep pack inspection, 
and not running your intrusion protection system, we're seeing um, around 250 megs down and around 390 up. So that, that's, that's, that's really good. And I did a test yesterday um, with using nothing on my network, just plugged in my Fios Gateway again, and we were doing the same speed. Um, did the Verizon network test. I was getting a gig to my ONT, and then internally um, I was getting just the 250, 60 down and around 350 to... 390 up. So then I looked at my cable running from the ONT inside the house, which was that gray cable we saw back in the closet. Let's see if we can go back to one of these other ones. This gray cable right here. So I just looked at that cable, and this cable is Cat 5V. So still should be able to pull in a gigabit, um, 900 megs, and no problem. Uh, so I went around and I plugged a hard wire into my USG, which was Cat 6A, a shielded Cat 6A. I ran this from here outside into the ONT, which is on this wall. Same speed, no change. I did the same thing and used my Verizon gateway, same speed. Ran my shielded cable. Bypass this, so my shielded cable from the Verizon security gateway to the Verizon ONT outside, and same speed. So this cable is not a a pinch in the network. Is you know, it's it's not clogging up anything. It's not um, creating any kind of issues. So <clears throat> I was going to pull brand new Cat Six, which I may, since I've got the new. Uh, punch down right over here. I may run a new shorter cat six from here up over and right through the wall and use this to pull the cable back out. So I may do that. Um, I may do that soon just to, you know, we got a couple extra feet here. I don't need, I mean, this obnoxiously long service loop is not needed, but the guy that originally had did this years ago had left, um, the, the Verizon tech left me a, a big loop here because he saw I had some networking stuff. I mean, this mono price switch has been in there for, I don't know, five plus years now. Um, so he left me a big loop there just in case I want to move the modem somewhere else. Uh, let's see, let's go back here real quick. Um, so these speeds, let's just end this video here quickly. Um, these speeds is with, um, DPAC inspection and the intrusion protection system on. That meaning, um, let's see if I can pull up. Let's do this one real quick if it if it runs. I don't know. I was having an issue with the speed test app on here. Just didn't want to run right. And eh, it's doing it again. So um, this is your speeds with. Um, DPI and IPS on and I like it um, and that's that's running right now with um, that's the speed I get from one device while two other devices are also um, pulling 4k video from either Disney Plus or Netflix or whatnot occasionally the USG does spike but it goes down really quick. Um, but that's what I got. It's uh, it's working flawlessly. Um, I jump back and forth between leaving everything on and turning it off because I don't see any network slowdowns, even though that I'm paying for a gigabit and I'm getting a tenth of that speed. Everything in my house is running on five gigahertz um, Wi-Fi and we're not having any issues. So.